Hey guys, you know, a lot, a big, a common question is, uh, I can't do a push up or are knee push ups like this, are they okay? And they are okay, but I just want to present to you a concept, uh, where we combine double compression breathing with using all four limbs to get you in and out of the push up. I'm going to show you how to do both those things now. Okay, so number one, using double compression breathing, it can take what we'll call a partial pull up, push up. Sorry, uh, you do not need all the way down and all the way up to get the benefit of the push up, especially if you can't hold your form or it hurts some part of your body to do so. So we use double compression breathing to take us to the perfect depth of the push-up that's appropriate to your conditioning right now. And this is what it looks like. Big 100 plus percent breath in through your nose. Pressurize it. Let hiss some of that breath out. This is where we feel it's tough. Take a second breath. Stay here if you need to. and then. Push out. One more time without talking. Now, what I'm also doing here that you might not be able to see, I'm going to bring your attention to my feet. What makes most people get this result in a push up is the feet being inert or not active in supporting the core. So, as I lower into this push up, I am also isometrically pushing with my feet. So rather than letting my heels sag or my ankles dorsiflex, here's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to exaggerate pushing with my feet. So I'm actually trying to use a tippy toe or plantar flexion of my ankle to help raise me from the lowest part of my push up. Once again, you don't have to literally do what I did, but I'm exaggerating so you can see how vital it is to use your calves to support your core on the push up. Much aloha.